Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I use this almost the exact same uh, design in a video earlier today, and somebody asked me, how did I create that? Well, there's more than one way, but probably the easiest in just a few simple steps. Take your polygon tool, make it eight-sided or six-sided. It's got to be equal-sided. Then take your two-point line and go from, make sure it goes from node to node. Earlier in the other video, I had it off because I intentionally made it off. But we want to go from, not from the edge, we want to go from the node. Now, there are several ways you could do this, but the easiest. Take all this and double click on it. And let's make it 24 points line. Now, it doesn't just work like that when you smart fill it. This thing is almost 18, so we'll make our nudge factor 19. If you look, if I fill that in and move it over, the parts are touching because it is a line and the, the smart fill tool goes to the center of the line. So what we need to do is select it all, go to object and convert it to, convert the outline to an object. Now we can nudge it over and our parts are separate. As you can see in that. And there's a lot of you could do with this. Let's just go and kind of play with it. Let's just delete that. And let's grab all this. And you could actually go ahead and, and I like to do in this, go and group them together. And then hit P, put it in the center of the page. And then left click, right click if you were going to cut it out, make sure it's a hairline. <clears throat> and then just take another polygon and hit P. And then make your border whatever you want by holding down the shift key. It'll make it grow from the inside out. That way, now you have like a wagon wheel. If you fill this in, you would get that right there. And that would cut out and left click, right click. And you want to do that because these pieces are separate. These pieces are together. Hope that it helped a little bit.